Have you ever looked into your yard and wished you could be more creative with your outdoor space? Landscape blocks have found great favor with homeowners because there are so many ways to be creative with them. I recently stopped by Menards in Sioux Falls to talk with General Manager Mike Glovich about some creative ways to incorporate landscape blocks in any outdoor living space. for having us out here to Menards. Thanks for coming out. So aside from having a lawn that looks really pretty and green, we also want our landscape to be aesthetically pleasing. So what are some of my options here at Menards? Um, we got a lot of different options when it comes to landscaping block. Um, anything from an edger, say you have a tree in your backyard you want to spruce up a little bit. There's some different scallop looking edging that you can wrap around the tree and you can actually um, just clean up the whole tree look you know, just by putting mulch and stuff around it. Um, there's some uh, different patio pavers that you can do. Um, if, uh, say, you wanted to put a patio up for your grill or, or even have a, an outside, you know, fireplace, um, that'd be another option that would spruce up your backyard. Um, uh, if you want to do anything with a retaining wall, if you wanted, if you had some different landscape and you want some different look to it, um, you can take a retaining wall and just uh, build your own little retaining wall to build it up make a flower garden out of it or you know some people just even like to have a you know make a little strawberry patch in there and uh, you know that's a different option for you too so there's a lot of different options when it comes down to it. Now you're talking about using landscaping blocks and so for example you mentioned a paver so making a sidewalk or a patio why do that instead of just using regular concrete? Um, the pavers will give you a lot different look than with concrete you know concrete will tend to want to crack for the paving, the pavers will—they're all individual, um, and you'll uh, you'll get a different look with it. Um, it. A lot of people like the look of the pavers because you get different colors. With concrete, you're pretty much getting a concrete color, whatever color you chose. Um, where where the block with the paver block, you can mix and match different colors, and you can mix mix and match different designs along with it. So um, there's a lot of endless opportunities for what you want to do for the landscaping. So if I have all these different options for color, how, as a customer, do you assist them with choosing this? Uh, the first thing we'd do is we'd walk you up to our, we have displays inside and outside to show you the different colors available. Um, the, the main thing is we, we want you to be comfortable with what the colors are, and then there's different options as some of the grays will go good with the reds and you know whatever, whatever your taste is. Um, but a lot of it, we just put it in front of you and you just decide what you think would be the best decor for your yard and landscaping. Now how has landscape blocking really changed over the years? And right now we're standing in front of a few different examples. So how has this really changed? It's it, the main thing, the biggest change is landscaping block isn't really landscaping. It's not just used for landscaping anymore. Um, a lot of different designs have came out with um, different ways of building an outdoor fireplace, building a, you know, like you see here, a, a post wrap around for, a, you know, for a, a mailbox, which when you get down to it, all you're doing is you're gluing the, the block together. Right. Um, a lot of it is just buying, uh, you know, just getting a, a, a landscaping adhesive and you just glue it together. And once that stuff cures out, it's, it's solid. It, it's it's going to stay like that for, for quite a while. Yeah, I'm looking at all of the different options too that we can see right here behind us on the wall. And we have planters, we have a bar. That one really stood out to me. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of endless options, but if I'm going to create one of these and I don't really know for sure the style I want to go or how I'm going to fit this into my yard, where can I go for some help in creating and making this design that I want to create? Well, I would I would come into the either Menard location and we can sit down and show you what we have available. We have different kits already, so you don't have to, all you do is pick it out and say, I want this one. We type it in and all of a sudden you're getting what you, what what it takes to build that particular product or, or bench or, or whatever. Whatever, whatever it is you choose. Um, if, if you don't know exactly what you're after, what, uh, as far as, like if you wanted to do a, a patio, we have a design at center also where we can, we can assist you on showing you different layouts of different ways of, of doing pavers or doing a retaining wall or how high you want to go. And then at the end, the end result is we give you a full materials list of what you need to, to make that project happen, along with, you know, different guidelines or different stuff that we can help you with just to help you be successful at your at your project that you're doing. 
So let's talk a little bit more about doing these projects. If I'm going to do this by myself, for example, we have this mailbox right here. What do I need to make this? Uh, well, if you want to do something like this, uh, you're going to need to, uh, you know, a hammer, a cold chisel. Um, if, if, if you want to use a saw, there's uh, diamond blade saw blades that you can get that you can use to help cut it. Um, a lot of times a cold chisel is, it, it, you just put it on there and ha hammer it and break it apart. Um, some adhesive and of course your safety gear. You want to have safety glasses and, and ear protection. It's not, the, it's not the easiest thing on your ears when you're actually breaking the block to make it happen. So. Um, that'll be, for the most part, that'd be a, a good start for you if you want to make something along that line. And then just have a great idea. That's going to be the biggest thing. Just because we have different ideas and different kits out there doesn't mean that fits your needs. So we can help assist whatever your vision is. Now, do I need to have any experience when it comes to construction or building things to be able to complete a project like this? Um, not like this. This is pretty simple. This one here, you're just pretty much, you're, you're building uh, it's kind of like Legos, you're kind of building it, but you're gluing each individual piece to each other and, and, it, and it turns out to, you, to the outcome that you want, different colors, different shapes and, and all that good stuff. And now if I want to update my landscape or change a few things, but I'm trying to do it and keep it budget friendly, so I'm just going to start with maybe one or two areas, what would you first recommend customers to update? Um, the first thing I, if you just want to spruce it up a little bit, I would look at what you have for edges around your, if you have a flower, flower area or you have a garden, you know, if you had the old plastic edging around there, I would maybe think maybe I'll put some block edging around it, kind of spruce it up that way. That would probably be the least expensive because block really isn't that expensive. It's the, the outcome that you want is, is what the main purpose is behind it. So. All right. Well, sounds great to me. Thanks so much, Mike, for explaining what this all is. All right. Thank you. Whether you plan on rebuilding your outdoor living space or have another home project in mind, Menards has nine locations in Kelloland ready to help you with what you need to do the project right. Find the location nearest you by checking out their website at Menards.com. And don't forget to ask their garden professionals for advice on how to improve the look of your lawn.